Could be a little stormy this weekend. Yeah, yeah and I don't think it's going to be the whole weekend. There is part of the weekend that definitely includes that opportunity. And obviously, this time of the year, we have to talk about the potential for severe. Anytime we talk about thunderstorms, there's a slight risk of severe weather well to our west. Uh, it goes Indianapolis to the west of India, and then it heads into central parts of Missouri. Now, as you know me pretty well, I don't like to just take the storm's prediction center's word for things. I like to dive in. So let's start to look at the scenario. We saw a disturbance move in our direction today. It didn't produce severe. We're at 79 with a dew point of 69. A lot of times we talk about dew points above 65 for the potential for severe, but you kind of get the idea. It's not that simple. Otherwise, today we would have seen some severe weather across the area. 86 and Indy, 88 Nashville. So basically, we have been cooled by that storm system that moved through. A couple things to note here. Still a couple showers lingering here as we head just south of Frankfurt. This is really the only show that's left for most of us. This produced really very little. There was one severe thunderstorm warning for Adair County. That expired about an hour ago. We still have some showers from Taylorsville. Or they extend through Frankfurt, and they are pretty light. So if you have Friday night football plans, I think you're in pretty good shape tonight. Looking at our next system right now, it's moving out of Omaha. And as this moves in our direction, what you see is basically a lot of clearing in between those two systems. And that's what we're going to deal with. Tonight through tomorrow morning, we're going to turn into a mostly clear sky. You'll notice most of the day tomorrow is partly to mostly sunny. Now, by 5 p.m., advanced track shows what we call a bow echo. This is an enhanced area of wind damage moving through the St. Louis area. You'll see that spreads around us. Now, the question here is, do I agree with that? And the answer is yes. That should southward progress, and what that traditionally means for us is we're not going to see a severe weather scenario. The front will move through early on Sunday, so the best chance of rain will be at probably, let's say, about 10 p.m. on Saturday through about 9 a.m. on Sunday. And by Sunday afternoon, it's going to be cooler. We're going to turn partly cloudy. It's going to be actually a nice second half of the weekend here. So despite the fact that there are some thunderstorm chances this week in the time frame, should make any of your state fair plans pretty good. If you're heading to a pool, uh, doing anything outside, I think you're in pretty good shape. 72 degrees is going to be the nighttime low, a 20% chance of a shower lingering over for the evening. Again, I don't think it's going to be enough to impact any of your Friday night football plans. Then for tomorrow, our skies are going to be mostly sunny early, turning partly cloudy in the afternoon. We haven't talked about this for a couple of days, an air quality alert. We've got one in effect tomorrow, 20% during the day. Now we're going to up that to 50% Saturday night, through Sunday morning. I can't emphasize enough that 50% chance is Sunday morning by the afternoon, 87 and partly cloudy. And Monday, Tuesday looks quiet as well as temperatures remain in the 80s. What a difference. We go from a 90-filled July to an 80-filled August. No complaints. Liking it. Thanks, Mark. North Oldham fans set off.